Mindy Kaling, Dear or do I Mindy start with Kaling? You are obviously hilarious and such a talented writer. I can't get over it. You have your own television show, well, Hulu show, I should say now. You worked on The Office with incredible people. You've written two books, one of which I've read and the other one I can't wait to read. And basically, I just really, really, really admire you for everything you do. The thing is, I've kind of known who you are for a while, but I didn't really pay attention to what you were up to until I started watching The Mindy Project. And then I uh, read your book, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? And then I got obsessed with you. <laughs> Cause I used to watch The Office every so often, but it wasn't, I wasn't one of the super hard fangirls of it. I actually had no idea you were a writer on the show until I read your book about two years ago now, I wanna say. And I loved that book. And I thought you were, like, so hilarious and relatable at the same time. And, like, for me, that's hard to find. Like, yes, I can relate to a lot of books, and I just, well, I read all the time. So I've learned to relate things and events in my life to, like, my, the characters' events and stuff. But your book, your autobiographical book was relatable because you come from a similar background as I do and that's so hard to find with um, celebrity. So yeah, you're just one of those famous people who comes from a similar background as I do. Um, you're Indian American, you were born and brought up in America too, um, and but your parents were immigrants and um, that's just such a hard thing to find and I feel like a lot of children of immigrants feel that way because you come from two cultures and it's hard to find that. When I read your book and I started watching your show I was like finally I found someone who I can relate to on more levels than just one which was really nice. And then um, when I started watching the mini project I discovered this whole another side to you that was just amazing. You were such a talented, hilarious writer and I kind of, I knew that because I knew you were a writer for The Office. You, you're so yourself but you're also a completely different character when you play and um, write Mindy Lahiri because she's totally different from yourself. Um, I mean like like your mom she's an uh, OB but she's also like a total um, like celebrity obsessed um, person who um, just goes on these adventures and stuff and I love that and I love that she that you've allowed her to be a whole person she's not trying to and you're not trying to you know represent the whole Indian American community or anything like that you're letting Mindy Lahiri do her own thing and you're doing your own thing in fact which is really heartening for someone who wants to go an unusual route. It's it's just, it's really heartening to see um, someone like you who's so confident in um, real life from what I've seen and also um, allowed her character to be so confident because in like, especially for me um, at least, I come from like a very cultured I want to say background where my parents like really instilled values in me and like my community my uh, Indian community really instilled great values in me but some of that um, made me think like maybe the route I want to go down is not the right route you kind of showed me that that's like okay um, it's totally allowed and you're allowed to feel confident about your decisions that way the fact that you've kind of run away from a lot of those stereotypes especially on the show it was really great like <laughs> i mean you make out with so many so many beautiful men you know, you'll allow mindy to the character mindy to date around and you allow her to like have fun with life while also being a doctor the thing is indians are very stereotyped in western media in general i mean there's just like a poo in the simpsons and um 
like a handful of other Indian characters that are out there in, you know, television especially, but also just media in general. And a lot of the times they play into stereotypes and Mindy Lahiri doesn't do that. Like while she is a doctor, which is a kind of a stereotype for Indians, she's still her own fully fleshed out character. It's just really nice to see a fleshed out Indian character, even though she doesn't, you know, talk about her Indian roots as much. I actually like that more because that makes her even more relatable to, I guess, my specific demographic. I am so hardcore into the American culture when I, because I live in America and I've grown up in America, even though like I, I have a lot of ties to my Indian culture. Like my American culture is what I talk about more just because it's more relatable to the people around me. And um, the fact that just Mindy is so, so into that stuff is really nice to see and watch. So yeah, I just thank you for bringing Mindy Lahiri to life and also Kelly Kapoor because she was also pretty complex for being a side character. And um, I just think the, the, the characters you write and um, produce are so interesting because they are the opposite of stereotypes. Like you've got Danny who's this like really, um, you know, He's, he's got his like really Catholic guilt thing going on, but then again, he, he looks at vaginas for a living and um, he, he is, you know, having premarital sex with a Hinduish person, which it, by the way, I totally love that you describe yourself as a Hinduish person because there are just so many sects of Hinduism and so many complexities to it that that's like really all you can, you know, identify as sometimes. He's such an interesting character and still so funny. Like all of your characters have a different sense of humor, which is so important when you're with the like with the pretty ensemble show like you have. You know, I watch TV and um, sometimes a lot of the characters sound the same, but none of your characters have the same voice, and all of them come from so many different backgrounds, and I love that so much. The thing is, you've not only resonated with, you know, girls like me who are Indian American, you know, ABCDs as we're called, American Born Confused Daisies. Like, you, it's not just us who are watching your show or reading your books or just consuming your content because the fact that you're so, your stories are so specific to Mindy Lahiri, not even yourself, but Mindy Lahiri, like, that makes it universal. That makes everyone able to relate to it. Another thing, another thing with Mindy is that I love that you kind of allow her to be a ditz because she is pretty ditzy a lot of the time. She makes stupid decisions. She admits that she has weight problems but calls other people fat. She stalks Kris Jenner until like Kris Jenner literally yells at her. I love that you've allowed her to do, to be that person. She's allowed to be both the really talented, intelligent um, doctor and a really just fun-loving character. She's not one note. She has complexities and um, I think her complexities really shown through in your last season um, with the pregnancy and how secu secure she feels in her relationship with Danny. And I just love that so much. And also I think that's why so many guest stars have been willing to come on the show and you know your guest stars is part of what makes your show fantastic. The fact that you had Stephen Colbert as Danny's priest was amazing. I love the show so much because it's it it has so many layers and we're only in in three seasons, so I know there's so much more to explore and I cannot wait. Okay, so I know you through your media. I know you through Kelly Kapoor, I know you through Mindy Lahiri, and I know you through your book. So that is three things I know you through. And also I saw you live at BookCon with, in conversation with, you know, your friend BJ Novak. Um, and I've only seen you become more and more, not confident, but more like, you know, open about yourself. You're so, you feel so accessible even though you are 
pretty famous. You know, you're a successful human being. Um, that's what I'd call you. I think it's because you're so direct in who you are. I think that really shows showed in um, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? And that's why I can't wait for your next book because that is a book I can give to um, my younger cousins who don't like to read as much and they still love it because you're you're so yourself. That's I don't know if there's any other way of putting that, but you're so Mindy Kaling all of the time. Um, there's there's no front when you're not acting, you know. And um, I just I love that. And even through like when you're when I watch your shows through the dialogue and stuff, I'm like, oh, that's like. Mindy Kaling writing. I feel like I can give that to my cousin because I can be like, here is a book by a real human being with real experiences and, you know, real stories that you can relate to and, you know, that can, that, like, you can learn from. And I feel like I've learned so much from you, not just from, like, watching your show. I've learned uh, so much about storytelling. Gosh, I've, I've learned so much about, you know, putting comedy where it's necessary, but also, you know, keeping the comedy out of it when it doesn't apply. Because while your show is a, you know, 30 minute sitcom, it really feels like a romantic comedy. I know you mentioned in a couple interviews or something that, you know, you were, you were really playing off the, you know, romantic comedies of the, the great romantic comedies of like the 80s and stuff and um, I mean you really see that and I love that you tri that you really tribute that in some episodes but also you keep the comedy in for as long as possible until like things get real and then and then that's when you know the viewer knows like oh things are really getting real and like things are getting serious on the show and I love that somehow you seamlessly do that you seamlessly put put in the comedy with the thread the comedy with the um serious stuff and the more dramatic elements of your show and so thank you mindy killing for existing as an indian american human being um in the world but who is you know in american media that's pretty amazing for me but th thank you for not just borrowing yourself into that stereotype of what people think an Indian is supposed to be or an Indian is supposed to act like, including a lot of Indians. And thank you for, you know, writing amazing things, great shows, great, great books. Um, I actually got the, that little pamphlet they were handing out at BookCon and I read it and it was great and I can't wait for your next book. I keep saying that, but it's so true. Um, I cannot wait to read more from you and watch more from you because there's only more to get from you and more to learn from you from me um i can't i can't wait to learn more from you mindy kaling you are amazing in so many ways and i know i barely touched the surface with this video letter but just thank you hope i one day get a chance to you know meet you and give you a hug and be like thank you in person Okay, so bye, Mindy Kaling. Switch gears to um, my actual viewers because Mindy Kaling is probably not gonna see this. As you guys know, this is part of my seven day project of unscripted open letters to people that I admire. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite funny show is, I guess, or what your favorite line from the mini project is or something because if you're not watching the Mindy Project, you totally should be. So I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye.